The two most important things for a new rider is suspension and a fully charged cell phone for GPS, photos, and phone calls. But riding in remote areas with little to no signal while using GPS kills your battery. And that battery drain is worse when using the camera to get photos of your beautiful machine and sublime scenery. Now as riders, we all know that tire pressure plays a critical role in suspension. It only takes one to two PSI to drastically change the feel and steering response of modern motorcycles. Now there are many solutions to these two problems, such as traditional bike pumps, floor pumps, gas station pumps, and many different types of external battery packs. But as riders, we don't want to spend extra time on a pre-ride setup, we just want to ride. We also hate having to carry extra gear because lighter is faster and faster is better. Lighter is also less fatigue on the back and that's even better. Many of us have a bike as our only vehicle because we don't want to use two tools just to get one job done. The same is true when it comes to the tools we use to get us on the road and stay on the road as a rider. Why have multiple tools to do multiple jobs if there is a solution to do many things with only one thing? Isn't that why we love our smartphones? In a world where riders crash from too much or too little tire pressure, don't you want a tool that makes this step of the pre-ride inspection easier, faster, better, quicker? See my suspension video to see how PSI affects ride quality and suspension. When you have a low PSI that leads to a flat tire with a dead phone in a remote area, it makes you question why you decided to ride at all. And these are not exaggerations as I have experienced both of them at the same time during my first month of riding. That's why this Lexan P5 Smart Pump is a game changer for riders. It's a pump, a power bank, a flashlight, all in one compact device. It has a maximum pressure of 150 PSI. It can easily inflate tires, even in remote areas where there's no access to a gas station pump. Plus, with this built-in power bank, you can top off your phone or any other device that you use on the go. And to top it off, the P5 also has a flashlight, making it a useful tool in case of emergencies on the road. I think that this pump lets you hit the road with confidence. And that's why I was excited to try the Lexan P5 Smart Pump. In my opinion, it's one of the best solutions for riders who prioritize convenience, speed, and accuracy. Unlike traditional bike pumps that require manual pumping, guesswork, and 100 tricep reps, the Lexan P5 is equipped with advanced technology. It automatically detects and adjusts tire pressure with precision and ease. The only downside to that is it doesn't let pressure out. You'll have to do that manually. At first, I took my bike to the gas station because I thought I could dial in the perfect PSI and it was free, but the pump wouldn't fit due to the massive brake rotors on my R7. Not to mention, because this is a dual rotor setup, there is no one side that makes attaching the pump valve easier. So then I tried my mountain bike pump, but the gauge was super inaccurate. So I then pumped up my bike with a mountain bike pump and checked tire pressure with a second gauge. This was a little bit better, but it was still cumbersome. And so I would skip this pre-ride inspection part a lot more than I care to admit. But as of today, I've elevated my game to a whole new level of flex with this Lexan. So I guess the point I'm making is the P5 pump has it all. The Lexan is way easier to use than other solutions. The braided hose is nicely constructed and it has a freely rotated mounting point to attach to the valve. I like the fact they didn't go cheap with the rubber hose. The buttons are nice clicky and responsive to the touch and it's kind of satisfying to press them they're also glove friendly not too soft not too hard just right and the all metal construction of the body is smooth to the touch and it adds a feeling of quality construction moving to the front of the p5 we have a connection for the braided cable and that flashlight for low light applications peeling back that rubber flap with this lightness symbol reveals a usb-c port that's how you charge the P5 and a USB-A port. That's how you use the massive 5,000 milliamp battery to power other devices like your iPhone or your Android. Now, thanks to the built-in PSI monitor, all it takes is a simple connection to the tire valve to get the current settings. And if they're off by a few pressure points, all you have to do is set it to a desired PSI and let the pump do its thing. Charging the device is super easy. And what I love the most is if you want to ride, you no longer have to choose between charging your phone and hitting the road or just hitting the road with a dead phone. All you have to do is throw it in the included bag while it's connected to your device. You get to ride and charge at the same time. And then when you're not using the pump, 
just throw it in the included bag. Now, even though I do like this pump, I will say there are a few things that I think they could make some improvements on. First, the pump charges any other device with USB-A, but most devices use USB-C. So in this case, I have to hunt down an old USB charging cable or buy a new one. That is, if I can even walk into a store and find one. So, they should either allow the USB-C port to charge the device as well, or add a second USB-C port for charging newer devices. Second, the screen could be brighter for use in direct sunlight. This could easily be achieved by either brightening up the screen that they're using, switching to an e-ink display, or a simple G-Shock style black and white LCD. Now my third is a nitpick, but if they could make it slimmer and lighter, I think that'd be nicer. Don't get me wrong, the P5 is still nice in its current profile. I just think in 500 grams, a little slimmer and a little lighter would be a lot better and a lot sleeker. Now, last but not least, I wish they would make the flashlight accessible without having to turn on the pump. If I could just simply press the button to turn on the flashlight without having to turn on the pump, it'll make things even more convenient, especially for riders who backpack with their bikes or camp overnight. I think this is one accessory everybody should have, even if they don't ride bikes. And honestly, at only $69.95, in my opinion, it's a steal. This is how I look at it. You can easily find a 5,000 milliamp power bank for about 40 to 50 US dollars. When you pair that with getting a solid pump, a flashlight, and a tire pressure monitor, I think this price is more than fair. Now, a good bike floor pump can easily sell for 20 to 50 dollars depending on the quality and it will only read psi not all three measurements like the lexan but let's be honest even if you bought a floor pump for cheap are you really going to carry a floor pump with you in your backpack while you ride motorcycles no of course not no so why spend upwards of a hundred bucks for only two devices a floor pump and a battery pack when you can get three, a floor pump, a battery pack, and a flashlight in only one device and get multiple uses. Plus, you can carry it with you. And honestly, this is just low key fun to use. After testing it on my motorcycle, I'm not ashamed to admit that I let some tires out of my mountain bike just to pump them up again. It truly is that satisfying. If I could have a tool that not only works, but improves my ride quality and makes my dreaded pre-ride check actually fun, then sign me up coach, I wanna play all day. So, bottom line, I think this is a good device. I think you should get one, check it out. Links are in the description.